Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment and go back, go back to that one time, that one time birds used to fly and we shot them down uh, till we figured out bad language and told them that shit was taboo, taught them that flying was for the supreme few, made believe that they were meant to breed and make soup, cut off their wings and threw their dreams behind patriarchal bars. Wrote verses inspired by fear and greed, belittling anything feminine, normalized demeaning phrases like gross and bows, don't be a pussy. But at the, at the back of our minds, the only thing we was thinking about is pussy. All this domination and uh, oppression of one sex just so it's easier to get some pussy. We should be ashamed. But wait. We do not need to go back to that one time because we've already lived through that timeline. I mean, toxic masculinity and its mental Chernobyl ends now. I hope you brought some notebooks because class begins now. Question one. Tell me, why do you believe women are less equal, huh? Didn't one carry you for nine months? Mm. I think that's two questions, but uh, enough of that. Let's talk about two women late who are still breaking the bias today. Rosa Parks, the first person in racist America to tell a Caucasian, this is my seat. If you do not want to stand, you better catch the next bus, motherfucker. Valerie Thomas, Mark Zuckerberg's virtual metaverses possible because of here the inventor who made it possible for the multiverse to be experienced in 3D but yeah there's not even a regular cinema in Freetown and Valerie Thomas was probably non-existent in your mind so you are welcome peace